It is very important to know the different types of surfing equipment and their characteristics in order to know which is the most suitable model for your level and for the surf conditions of the spot. In this video, you will learn the basic anatomy of a board. Even if they are produced with different materials, surfboards are always made up of the same parts. The nose, the tail, the rail and the deck. PVC, polyurethane and polystyrene are the most common materials used to make a board. Beginner boards are usually made from soft PVC foam, which gives them better buoyancy, but make them heavier. The more experienced surfboards are made up of polyurethane or polystyrene, which are lighter but more fragile materials. The top part of the board is called the deck, and the underside is the bottom. The nose of the board can be more or less sharp. The more pointed it is, the more it will gain speed and the easier it is to manoeuvre. The rounder it is, the more stable and buoyant the board is. In the same way, there are different forms of tail, the back of the surfboard. Its most common shape is the squash tail, also called squared or square. This type of tail works well in many sea conditions. It allows for control and good flotation in many types of waves. The rounder and thinner tails, such as rounded tails, pin and rounded pin, are shapes that will prove effective when the waves are hollow or big. They are generally used for surfing big waves with gun boards. The swallowtail, or fish as the name suggests, have a fishtail shape. A variant of the fishtail is the winger swallow, with a finer tail installed on a wide board. Between the nose and the tail is the body of the board. This is defined by its dimensions, which are more often given in feet for the length and in inches for the width and thickness. One foot equals about 30.5 centimetres and one inch to 2.5 centimetres. The body of the board is also defined by elements like the rocker, the longitudinal curve of your board between the nose and the tail. The stronger rocker facilitates manoeuvres in deep, powerful waves. Conversely, a flat rocker is ideal for long and regular curves at high speeds but will be less manoeuvrable. Finally, the rails, the side of the surfboard, also have a lot of influence on the performance in the waves. Depending on the model, the design or outline may be more or less accentuated and this will have an impact on the performance of your board. Rounder and thicker rails provide more buoyancy, control and good speed retention. The thinner, pinched rails are very responsive but require more precision and are therefore reserved for more experienced surfers.